Thank you, Mr. Chair, distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great, great pleasure to speak to you today to address the very important topic of countering narratives. Given our current global footprint, I would like to take this opportunity to showcase Hidayah's work and, and methods in countering radical ideology through our counter narratives engagements. I would like to start off by sharing the story of Fatima, who was abducted by Boko Haram and then released many years later. Hidayah identified Fatima, gave her a safe space and a voice, and championed her as a hero of peace. This is her story from captivity to freedom. My life was going normally. I used to sew traditional caps for a living. One day, many vehicles drove into our community. They adopted us and took us into a very thick forest and abandoned us there with no water and no food. The only clothes we had were the clothes on our body. We spent about 10 years in that forest. Our doctors dumped us there and went about their businesses. We were left there together with our kids under the sun. Once in a while, they would bring us food. Sometimes they would bring one sachet of water and give them people to share. When I finally returned to my family house in Damaturu, immediately they saw me. They all started running. I was very surprised to see my family running away from me. Even people in the community also ran away from me. Some of my siblings said I would suck their blood if they come close to me. When they bring food, they would throw it on the floor. Even the plate I was served in was not washed before dishing the food. They created a separate place for me to stay away from them. Hidaya basically look at uh, CVE, countering violence, extremism, and uh, ways and how to, uh, to mitigate that and also radicalization that leads to uh, uh, violent extremism. We have support sessions for women and girls and we also have family support sessions. Now, they are all safe spaces that are being created where people air their views. We also have community dialogues where we get to hear first-hand information from the community on how they feel regarding uh, reconciliation and reintegration of these survivors back to their community. One thing I learned during the step down training was to respect people's norms and culture. And then secondly, I was taught on appropriate ways to ask these survivors questions so that they won't remember what they have left behind them. Before the intervention program by Edaya and Lim, we used to run away from survivors. But during the program, they enlighten us and now we live together, we eat together, we even sleep in the same place now. Even the people in the community are surprised at how everything changed. This program has helped me immensely. I no longer suffer from any stigmatization from my family or my community. Even our children have not started attending schools. The experience we derived from engaging with Boko Haram victims was the following. Countering radical ideology is very much an online phenomenon as it is an offline one. Counting radical ideology online is simply not enough. Communities and villages with little or no access to technology are just as vulnerable as technologically connected communities. The narratives that we should be countering does not only come from radical and terrorist groups. It can come from mainstream narratives. In this particular case of Fatima, Hidayah identified that dealing with victims of terrorism in a stigmatization manner was enough to create conditions conducive to violent extremism. 
In this particular scenario, the environment was not created by radical and terrorist groups directly. Identifying the right messenger to carry the right message is just as important as the counter-narrative itself. According to Hidayah's method, countering narratives is not necessarily a reactionary mechanism. Providing alternative narratives may not work in some contexts. Therefore, Hidayah's approach is conducting paradigmatic shifting narratives. In order to conduct paradigmatic shifting narratives, we as practitioners need to have direct access to radical narratives themselves. To further understand terrorist ideology and methodology, both online and offline. Upon Daesh's defeat in Mosul, Hidayah housed some 1,600 primary documents from ISIS themselves. We had direct insights on how Daesh ran schools in Mosul and understood firsthand how Daesh thinks, what goes on behind the scenes in terrorist methodology, and more specifically, how does ISIS incorporate its indoctrination mechanism within its narratives. We have converted what we learned and trained religious leaders of different faiths and sects in Northern Africa and use elements such as art and gender to promote our paradigmatic shifting narratives. We have also trained psychologists to deal with juveniles returning back from Syria with great success. These pictures that you see today are of actual people who we trained and the youth you see right in front of you were once living under ISIS controlled areas in Syria. They are now successfully re repatriated. We have recently developed a video game available on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store that has been downloaded over 50,000 times on an Android alone to help provide youth with scenarios of recruitment and enhance their resilience capabilities in real-world contexts. Our counter-narratives library has over 679 materials in 29 different languages, which gives us a broad spectrum of how diverse the different types of narratives are out there. Finally, Hidayah is sharing powerful information on the rise of the radical right, or also known as racially and ethnically motivated violent extremism, by providing country-specific reports taking into account the local and regional drivers to the rise of the phenomenon of the radical far right. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our good friends at the Counterterrorism Committee Executive Directorate, as well as the speakers today, and it was an absolute pleasure to share with you this platform. Thank you.